Uh, my mom one day just decided that she was going to apply to the lottery system in Nigeria. And what that means is that if a family wins the lottery, they're actually given visas to move to the United States. So she had just done it out of whim and they ended up winning. So when I was around five years old, we all moved to Chicago and we started a new life there. I was speaking with my teacher at the time and she was telling me that maybe you should consider engineering. So we had done some research together and I think it was number one in two schools that came up were Georgia Tech and MIT. So I applied to both of them and I got into tech. <laughs> so I ended up coming here. These past four years have been actually phenomenal. So I worked with Dr. Corey Wilson and I worked in his lab for about two and a half years where we got to work on protein engineering. It was nice to actually see things that I read about in class in my biotech classes actually be done in real life. So that was really interesting. I've had some really phenomenal professors at Georgia Tech and they've just made my learning experience unbelievable. I would definitely say the Georgia Tech name goes a long way. There are 100,000 living alumni mm -hmm. Georgia Tech graduates. Okay, wow. But how we got to that number will mm -hmm. be you crossing the state. Really? I'm the 100,000th person? Ole Wafumuni Esther Adeemo. You are the 100,000th living oh Georgia Tech Wow, whoa, that's exciting. <laughs> that's, that's very crazy. <laughs> I would say despite all the rigor and like everything that I got out of my education, it's something that I'm really proud of that I was able to stay here and I was able to make it through all four. Each and every single graduate is gonna go on and do incredible things in this world because not only are they just so, just so intelligent and really personable, but you have people who actually care about each other and they care about the work that they do. So I, I think that's, it's just something really incredible. It's not something you see everywhere you go.